Well, good morning on Wednesday, April 23rd. Uh, this morning's topic is Roxanne and the progress we've made and some new issues we've discovered on the other side. But as you can see, uh, we have the new keel section in place, attached. The new ribs are bent and shaped and will go in shortly. Uh, the top sides have all been sanded and for the most part we've done the cotton caulking and the first pass of seam sealer. But remember the water trap on the aft end of this boat? Well, just to be consistent, whoever worked on it created a similar water trap on the front end and John will take you through what we found and how we're going to address it. Well, first of all, I burned my way through the pieces of wood that were on here rotted and we found that we had to replace quite a bit of a section of the stem. The stem was letting water in right through here. It must have been just about like a garden hose going inside the boat when it was going in the water. That's what the owner said, right, John? Oh. That she climbed up under the uh, foredeck when they first launched the boat and Roxanne was taking on water. It looked like there was a garden hose. Well, I'm not surprised with the uh, amount of rot I found in the hole for a minute, but I got down to where there's good wood and I'm gonna make a big piece of wood for a plug right here. Fix the stem and I made a pattern. Made myself a pattern so that I could break and cut a piece of wood for in here. And then I took some blank of hardwood and started to cut in. I'm going to do it in two halves. Basically that way I can Dutchman it in, overlap it and fit it. And I got the second piece in here off. So that all I'm going to do is cut it out and fit it in. We'll epoxy it back in, 5200 the boards to it, get it all watertight and get it solid again. Yeah, the stem is in good shape above and below that, oh, isn't yeah, it? Oh it's, yeah, it's in real good shape. Yeah. yeah. What it's happened as far as we can tell is that uh, uh, one of the long carriage bolts, there are two of them that go through the stem at this point, uh, one mm -hmm. of them must have failed and somebody attempted a fix, not unlike the one at the aft end, that involved squirting a bunch of 5200 back in there. And uh, <laughs> I'm convinced they just put the same carriage bolt right back in place. Well, the carriage bolt, when we pulled it out, was essentially crumbling to dust about half its 3 eighths, original 3 eighths diameter. And of course, what the 5200 did was seal off around that passageway and created a situation where we simply trapped water in there, water was in the wood all the way. Um, in a couple of places, John had to go almost all the way through the aft end of the of this stem to find some good wood that we can work from and work back. But we'll fix her. She'll be as good as new uh, once we, we I say, uh, once John shapes it, makes it fit well, uh, gets everything in place, and then the last step will be sanding and carving it so to the contour and the dimensions of the stem above and below the block we're putting in. So we'll be back to you soon. Uh, by the end of the day, the uh, top sides will all be primed. She'll begin to look like her glorious self once again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.